So now let's get into the Carlos P. Garcia Memorial Park. And good thing the gate is open. So Scott is walking ahead of me. I don't know if there is someone here. And look at this guys. We are here now by the Garcia Memorial Park. It's quite nice. This park is located in Loya, San Agustin. Boy, well, lived a long time, huh? Yeah, so Carlos P. Garcia is the president, mm -hmm. the fourth president of the Republic of the Philippines. And this park was developed in honor of his great contribution in Philippine society. Hello, Dong. Nice, don't know. But they maintain the area. What is this? Filipino First Policy. District of Bohol, 1925. So, President Carlos P. Garcia was born here in Taliban on November 1896 and he became a teacher. But he was a lawyer, a poet and a lawyer. But before he practiced being a lawyer, he teach in high school. Hmm. But he has a lot of courses though. Not only teaching, not only being lawyer, but a lot. I wonder what they did with this statue. Before when we passed by in this area, we saw the statue. Maybe it fell down during the typhoon. There is a dog there. See, look, see the nice gate over to that house? Oh, yeah. And then in the back, there's another gate going into that house. Wow. I wonder if a, these are uh, Mr. Garcia's relatives. Be quiet. Hey. Wait, wait. So, let us roam around her by the park. And it's a gated park and well maintained. Yeah, but I wonder why, I wonder where the statue goes. Before there is a statue, there is standing up in a platform. Might be the hurricane. Pull it down. And if you get tired, there are sitting area down here. Ha. It's a manual. Yeah, you, you do it too. But, yeah, but this one this is, wood is made old. of I don't wanna... wood. And then water comes out here. Water system. But nice place now. What is that plant? I don't know. It's just ground cover, I think. A room around here, honey. This park, it's clean. Yeah. Oh. As far everyone's knowledge, yes, guys. Uh, President Carlos P. Garcia was born here in Taliban Bohol and a great leader and an inspiration to Boholanos. He was the fourth president of the Republic of the Philippines and a first president of the 1971 Philippine Constitutional Convention.
And he's the one who called Bohol his home. And yeah, with his great work to Boholanos and to his province and country, this park was built for him. It's quite nice, no? Yeah. So we're going out now. Look at how much room is in the top and under the roof. Could be an attic. Yeah. Come on, let's walk down this way. And yes, we are going out now, going to this part, going to the seawater. My God, the. Yeah, there are big houses there, no? As all we know guys, that Bohol is a fast-growing destination for tourism and during that time of pandemic, it slowed down and I know it's very hassle to travel going here in the Philippines even until this time because a lot of protocols need to be followed. Province of Bohol where local people and foreigners come over to see the tourist spots and now there are some coming but not like much before but hopefully when everything is back to normal we don't know when but we are hoping and one of the municipality here in Bohol is Taliban and Taliban as I have known which is part of Inabanga before right honey? yeah yeah check no is that a chicks or a duck? duck. I don't know. Ducks. Yeah, look like a duck, not a, not a chicken. Look at the butt. Yeah, maybe the other two. There's an ugly duckling, one black, all yellow. <laughs> and a big fat pig who I'm sure would eat them for lunch. Look at those ducks there. We are walking down here in the village after we visit the park. We are just walking down here guys and that is for today's video. I hope you like it and please consider subscribing into my YouTube channel. And do like, comment and share to your friends and family. Thank you all.